Hey everybody, including some of possibly my classmates. Um, this will be a little post-mortem of my first audio assignment. I'll probably do these for every single assignment that I do for all of my relevant coursework throughout my media production thing. I'm vlogging or something, whatever. So, I should have taken my phone out of my pocket first, but it gives me an excuse to lean back and display the tie clip and pen. Good stuff, costume designer me. Um, so, um, for anybody who doesn't know, which is probably most of anyone that's still subscribed, um, I'm now going to school for media production, and the only relevant class I have this semester is audio production, which... If you've seen any of my videos, such as How Not to Buy a Blue Yeti, or anything else I've made, really, over the past several years, um, you'll know that I have a lot of anal tendencies about my audio, and, like, trying out different shit with audio, um, editing, using the waveforms, and all this stuff. I guess this is also a primer for this series, or whatever, this playlist. Um, so, uh, I have a lot more experience, not with Adobe Audition, although possibly now I do, um, than my classmates. Um, certainly editing audio, especially editing audio in terms of video. Um, but I figured I can still test myself with every single assignment. So what I did for our first assignment, which maybe I'll edit in somewhere on the screen, maybe not. Depends on how much of this I have and how much effort I intend to put into this. Um, our first assignment was use five to seven audio clips, make something that's two minutes long, there are no other real restrictions, and you can make more, or you can use more audio clips if you want. Um, my final cut of the thing that I made probably had something around 30 to 50 clips. Definitely if you include uh, cutting off any given sound into multiple clips. Um, so I overdid the hell out of it, and I spent three hours-ish the first night. I was done more than a week in advance, and... Today, we finally got to critiquing each other's assignments, and thank goodness mine was in the first half, because we only got through half of them. So, first of all, I was actually extremely impressed with my classmates' um, things, and, like, amazed at how dark the subject matter tended to be through most people's assignments. There was one girl that made a car crash, and then the guy descends into hell and gets resuscitated, I guess, and comes back, um, inspired by traffic pissing her off. Um, another one, and I have picked this person out as my sort of, well, now it's spoken, rival of the class. He made, like, a condensed version of Dunkirk out of audio, and the only reason I was able to accurately, it was confirmed that I was correct, uh, pick that out, was that he had this ticking clock sound going throughout his entire project. Uh, there was another guy who made essentially the experience of feeling really sketchy on your way back to walking to your car. And um, interestingly for that one, and I don't think anybody else in the class noticed this, uh, he used one of the same sound effects that I used in my project. Um, so anyways, this is sort of just a post-mortem in terms of my own project. Um, so we got around to my project, and I had been a bit vocal in giving my interpretations of people's projects and, um, you know, the occasional technical question. I asked Dunkirk Kid how he did the tinnitus effect that he made, because um, I just thought that was really cool, and I don't... I don't actually know how to do that off the top of my head. Um, like, I, I, I understood the concept of it. Like, get the ringing sound effect, um, and then 
muffle all of your other sounds so that you can still hear them, but it's like that Counter-Strike flashbang type of thing. Um, but he just did it really well. But his was the only one that I actually had a technical question. So anyways, we get around to mine, and I have to keep my mouth shut throughout any sort of comments and questions because it's mine and we're not supposed to speak on our own things until we're told to speak on them. Um, and I mean, I had tested mine. I like focus tested it sort of on an audience of my friends and a couple coworkers, including my boss. Um, and almost every single person got it exactly right. Um, the idea of mine, if you haven't listened to it, it's the previous thing on this channel, um, and now it'll be the previous thing in this playlist. Uh, the idea of it is, or the, the beginning idea was, I'm going to make something where someone gets beaten to death with a bat in the woods. I don't know why that jumped to mind, but it just seemed like something I would be able to very easily do very well. Um... So there's also the VOD of me doing the entire assignment. And uh, interestingly, the two interpretations that were wrong were almost exactly the same amount of wrong, where the person was interpreted as doing something very innocent, or at least what was going on wasn't necessarily malicious. And then they went to relax that was that that was the gist of the two wrong interpretations the correct interpretation is dude beats a person to death with the bat and then goes to dump the body in a river almost every single person in the class got it exactly correct um there were a couple of minor details that are like obviously i had a very specific idea because i have an, an an outline of what I wanted to get across. Um, but other than a couple of very minor details, people got it exactly correct. And the reason I picked out Dunkirk Kid as my rival in the class is that not only did he get pretty much the entire concept correct, he got the idea that I was picturing specific camera angles for each clip or like each section of the thing, there was a specific camera angle, whether it be an interior shot of the guy putting in the cassette and starting the music, or the exterior shot of the, um, the car with the music playing and driving off. Uh, that was the one thing that he praised most heavily. Um, and it's actually funny because his high praise, thank you, Dunkirk person uh, whose name I don't actually know. Um, thank you for that. Um, his critique started with um, so I heard uh, you know there he the scene was established and then it was a hard cut to something else and I thought wow that was awful why would you do that and then. I guess he got the idea a few seconds later of what I was trying to get across, and he he just flipped completely to, oh my god, this is amazing. This, there's so much visual here. Um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of just proud of what I accomplished in the assignment. Yeah. I'm bragging a bit, but you know, whatever. I had the idea going into this that I was going to blow everybody out of the water, and it's. At least in terms of getting the best visual across for exactly what I was going for. Like, mine only had two interpretations, and one of them was only taken by one person. Um, everybody else got almost every detail exactly correct, including um, just little things that I decided to put in there. Like, after the person is beaten to death with a bat, um, the person doing the crime lights a cigarette, um, just to take a break for a second, and then let's get back to work. Exactly how I wanted it to play out. So, I'm proud of what I did. I'm happy that everybody seemed to like it.
I did I did bother to clarify to my classmates um, the only reason that it was a woman that got killed in the audio clip is that that was the first scream I heard when I was browsing through files that sounded convincing. Go figure, male voice actors on free sound websites. Just, they're not good, generally. <laughs> they're, they're just kind of bad. Um, so yeah, that's probably enough of me rambling. By the way, expect to see a lot of this tie moving forward. I just pulled it out of the tie clip. That's amazing. Um, expect it to almost always be tied in the Trinity knot. Um, but this tie, this is an important tie to me now. So yeah, that's the first assignment done. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you next time. Peace.